Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're just joining for the first time, then welcome. My name is Joni Young and I'm an acrylic artist instructor showing you all today step-by-step -step how to paint this magical Christmas painting. So this is a step-by-step -step tutorial for all levels, no matter what level or stage you're at at painting, you can join in. Paint at your own level and ability and you're gonna learn so much today. So hit subscribe and stay tuned. Okay, so I'm working on a 16 by 20 black primed canvas today. I've got a number 50 filbert brush that I'm going to be using to start working on the background colors. And those colors are titanium white, burnt sienna, Mars black, sap green, phthalo blue, and my neons here by Holbein, uh, rose, pink, orange, and lemon yellow. I'm going to go ahead and just wet my brush a little bit. And I'm going to start adding a little bit of burnt sienna with a little bit of white and yellow. So just the very first step, again, a little bit of water, burnt sienna, and just going up and down. I'm going to take a little bit more water, more burnt sienna, and come over on this side. And I've got a whole playlist of winter and Christmas themed tutorials, lots of landscapes, snowy wintry scenes so be sure to check that out if you really love painting winter and Christmas and you want to learn some easy tips and tricks for creating snow snowflakes and all that kind of stuff I'm gonna pull into a little bit of white now and I'm gonna start off the top of the canvas a little bit of white a little bit more burnt sienna just to get sort of that chocolate milk color. A little bit of water in here just to help blend and work that out. And then what I'm gonna do is right about here, I'm gonna pull my brush side to side. So we're starting off with vertical and now we're going horizontal. This will be the floor and more of the foreground. Okay, the next color I'm gonna take is orange. Well, colors, orange and yellow. And I'm just gonna start adding them at the very top. Pull in a little bit of white with those. I'll reflect those down below as well. I'll take a little bit more white, yellow, and I'm just gonna wiggle right here and just start what's gonna be the fire. Just wiggling a little bit. Okay, the next color I'm gonna start pulling in is my neon pink. I'm gonna start right about here and then accent it down on the floor as well. The next color, rose. Same technique, up and down on the top and then across on the bottom. And the next color, a little bit of white and a little bit of that phthalo blue. You're gonna line your brush up partially over top of the rose. 
And you might need to add a little bit more white to make it show up a bit better. This is all gonna dry a little bit darker too, just because we're working on a black canvas. That's gonna um, really be nice for building up the ambiance in this painting. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more white and rose now. Put a little bit in there, go back for some more pink, pink and white. So what I'm doing is just looking for a really small brush to start um, adding little round, like orbs glowing little lights. And so we're just gonna create soft circles of all of these pastel colors. And I'm using a number two filbert brush, really small brush. You can use uh, any small brush to create yours. And I'm gonna get my brush a little bit wet. And what I'm gonna do is start with, we'll start with our yellow in the center here and I'm taking a little bit of white with it. And I'm just gonna add a little dabs like this. Different sizes. I'm gonna let that paint just work itself out of the brush and then I can get more of a glowing effect when I go back to them. And then what we'll do is go back inside with a little dab of more yellow and white. And then we'll add just white inside of them after that to really make them glow. Okay, so let's go back, reload the brush, and we can add little, just little dots. So all different sizes. Now I'm not thinking about my fireplace and how much I might cover up when I come in with my fireplace. I don't want to think too much ahead. I want to just be in the moment of what I'm working on right now and let the rest fall into place. I'm painting this intuitively. I'm just making up the ideas on the spot as they come to me. I knew that I wanted something um, with lots of pastels and, and a really whimsical, uh, dreamy, magical feeling to it. The feeling that we all got as a child, and maybe we still do, uh, when we think about Christmas, particularly the night before Christmas, Christmas Eve is to me and always was really exciting and magical. So I'm bringing these yellow ones over on the other colors because by doing this, when we overlap with those other colors, we'll create um, sort of like a filter effect and we'll get multi shades and tones that are gonna be really, really pretty and give it sort of a pearly iridescent look. Now a little bit of that pink and rose is still a little bit wet. I just picked up a little bit of that. So when I kind of pick up a little bit of that and blend it in together with the yellow. You can see already that it looks really pretty. And I'll just start dabbing and dotting down here, making it sort of start to trail down and become sort of a, a veil of lights. There, I picked up a little bit of pink too. I thought that I dried this off completely, but I haven't. And in fact, it's kind of working in my favor. Now, a little tip for you, if you 
want to get this done quicker, you probably could just use um, a Q-tip because the end is round and you could use that for creating these. I just really like using um, a filbert brush. I prefer using brushes. While I've got this color on here, I'm just gonna add a little bit inside the fire. And I think some of the fire where I applied it really thick here is still a little bit wet. So I'm just gonna use that. And then go back to what I was doing. Now another thing you can do is just place your brush on the canvas, twist, and that'll get you a nice round shape as well if you're wanting another way of doing it or applying the paint. And then you can pick up the speed a little bit and do a little dance around the canvas. It's also nice when you're painting to have some music playing. Music and art go together so well. I'm gonna come inside now with a little bit of white. And I'll just dab, dab, dab inside. Now, of course, you don't have to dab every single one unless you want them to all be the same strength of brightness. Okay, so for the next color, I'm going to go into my pink. I've just washed my brush out, so I've got enough pink over here. I could even just use that. Maybe I'll just pick up a little bit more. And I'm going to start adding it over top and in with some of the yellow. And then I'm going to come in with more of the pink, just straight pink. And just saturate some of these a little bit more. You can pick some of the yellow ones to go over as well and start filtering already. And you'll see how pretty that looks. So say right here where I've got that yellow one. Then we get more of a, a bright peach. So you can really have fun playing around with layering your colors. And then I'll just kind of wiggle. Wiggling and squiggling around. Just make it look like they're just kind of trailing off down there. While I'm over on this side, I'm going to go into my rose. A little bit of white.
and twisting and turning for big ones you push harder or you can switch over to a larger brush or a smaller brush to change the size up well, we can pick a few areas where we just hardly have any paint on our brush we're dry brushing in some softer ones and then back over to pink we can add a little bit of that inside and then I'll just do a quick twist, 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 move around. And I think I want to just add a hint of this pink to the flames. I think that's pretty. And then I'll add a little bit of the orange and the yellow again. A little bit more of the white and the yellow. Okay, the next color I'm going to take is my blue and the white. I will add a few circles. And we're going to start making turquoise pretty soon with the lemon, lemon yellow and the blue. I would have applied um, my aqua green turquoise to my palette at the beginning, but I don't need to because I know I can make it with these colors. So I'll show you how pretty soon. And I'm even going to take a little bit more white with my blue and very lightly. See that? Just very lightly catch the side, sides of the fire. Okay, now I'm going to take some more white. And just start adding some softer tones of this blue. Just gives it such a soft powdery look when you add a bit of water or white. Well, I have a little bit of water in my brush, but I'll let you guys know when I'm adding water. The water in my brush is just there from when I washed it out. I haven't dipped my brush in the water. Don't need to for this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just come inside and add a little dab of white. Now you can soften with your pinky. If you apply a little bit too much white like I have here, you can just take your pinky and use that. To add to your other ones. So come over here and add some more blue. Add a little bit on this side. Oh, let's add just a little bit more white here.
and then a little dry scumble. And then making that powdery blue shade by mixing in a little bit of white again. Twisting. I'm going to add a little bit right down here as I work my way into um, my next color, which is going to be the turquoise. So let's start making the turquoise, yellow, white, and blue. Now, depending on how much blue, white, or yellow you add, you'll get different shades. Okay, so then I'm going to come in about here, and I know this is a good spot because it's going to be complementary with the pink, because turquoise that I'm making is a green shade, and green is complementary with red and pink. There's a shade of red, or from red. I'm going to add some down here. So you can make two little piles, one for your lighter, mintier shade with a more white, and then one where you can make it a little bit more saturated. I'm going to add a little bit up at the top here, a few little hints. And a little bit down here. Now for the inside of the turquoise, I'm going to actually add some yellow and white instead of just straight white. And then again, take my pinky and dab. And this pale yellow will work in really all of our little lights here. So I'm not trying to make everyone look like a perfect circle. I want to have some a little bit wiggly and some that we can twist around with our brush and make little circles. If you want more of a blue turquoise, then just add more blue. Add a little bit down there. And a few little highlights inside of here.
I'm going to rinse my brush out. I'm going to go back over to my yellow and my white. So I'm just tinting my white to make these soft pastel colors. Because we're painting on a black canvas, it's gonna all the paint's gonna dry a little bit darker. That black will show through. So I'm just gonna go back and reapply wherever I need to. Okay. Just adding a little bit more yellow. And then down here as well. I'll pick up a little bit of water on my brush now just to thin my paint out a little bit and help me spread it across the canvas. I'm going to switch over to uh, a brush that's a little bit bigger in size. This is a 16 Filbert. And what I want to do is add a little bit, play up on some turquoise in this area. So I don't have water on my brush. I'm just dry brushing this. I'm just going to start to layer over and create a bit of a glow here. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more of the blue. I'm going to mix up some rows with my blue and make a deep violet color. I'm going to take some white and mix that in. Let's just take a little bit more. Such a pretty color. We'll add hints of it right here. So it's that same phthalo blue neon rose with a little bit of white. And then catch the end right there. I'm going to take some white with my neon orange. And I'm just going to apply it right down here. And then Overlap to give us a little bit more of an airy, filtered, glowing look. Then I'm going to take my burnt sienna with some orange. A nice warm color. start coming in with our fireplace.
take just a little bit more of the white and the orange to make that peach color and I'll just go right under here and then right on top I'm going to cut in on the sides now burnt sienna white a little bit more white on the front mix up some more of the burnt sienna and the orange then I'll cut down the side and then one line here, one line here. And I'll pull across here again. Okay. And a little bit more. And pull across the top. I'm just going to give it a little bit of an angle there for a bit more ornate architecture, but you can make your mantle however you like. And then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of white, orange again, and then come inside, pull a few lines across, Okay, the next color I'm going to use is black. I'll mix that with a little bit of the burnt sienna. And I'm going to go on either side. Outline a little bit in there. And then add some shadows inside. And just add a little shadow up here on the very top. A little bit more of the blue and the rose and white. Add a little bit inside the fire. And 
And I'll take a little bit of um, blue, sap green, and white. Stick a little bit more of the green. You can make a shade of turquoise with this as well. I'm just dry brushing. Over the blue. White, rose. A little bit of white and just rose. And we'll just start to add a little bit more color. I'm going to take a little bit of white and just start dabbing and dotting around here. And then I'm just going to very lightly pull and flick off of those dots. Okay, the next thing I want to do is bring in a Christmas tree. So I'm going to be layering over part of this area here, but I'm going to use all of those colors back there and lights to incorporate into our tree for our Christmas lights. So the colors I'm going to start this painting with, with my number 16 filbert, are phthalo blue and sap green, a little bit of black. And I'm going to just wiggle to get my brush into a better filbert shape, slightly fanned out. And I'm just going to start creating little, little scoops. I'm pushing and tapping. And we'll just keep going, making them smaller and smaller, and then the top of our tree. And if you want, you can add the tree trunk in there, but I'm not going to. I don't want to be able to see the tree trunk. I also want to use these same colors to add some decorations on the mantle. So I'll just push and tap 
letting the brush give me that natural branch shape. That's the filbert brush is awesome for that. I'm just going to pull up a few lines here for some candles. And then I'll add a little bit of white. Rinse off my brush and clean up the edge. So I can just push off as much paint as I need to. Okay, then I'm going to come in with my white, mix it up with the blue and the green, and I'll start adding it to the tree. I mean, you can paint your tree any color that you want. If you wanna want it to be a little bit more on the green side or warm, like a warm green, you can go ahead and add that. And then as well as the mantle. I'm just going to come around the edge here with a clean brush and a little bit of uh, burnt sienna and black. Take a little bit more black and redefine that line. I'm cutting in slightly on an angle here just to give this fireplace more depth inside. I'm going to come in and just adjust the pace of my fireplace here. It's just sagging a little bit, so I'll go back in and add more black and burnt sienna along that side. And right underneath, and then bring this up a little higher. So orange, burnt sienna, those same colors. We're going to have a little bit of a shadow from this garland hanging over the top of the mantle. So you can add a little bit of 
black, even a little bit of green. And just go under the base like that. I'm going to use a little liner brush and I'm just going to take some of my um, neon red and with a little liner brush, this is a two, you, any small brush that you want, I'm just going to go over top of my first layer on my candles. Having the first base with a green is good for having that shadow and mid-tone and they're complementary so it really works. I'm going to add a few little dabs of this red for some holly berries. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my white with my orange and a little bit of that red. And I'm going to make the top of the candle a little glowy, like just at the very top where the wax is starting to go down and it's a little see-through and you see that glow. And then I'll take a little bit of white, a little bit of the neon yellow cool and the orange. And we'll add a little flame. More of the white inside. And then right again, the very top. I'm going to add a little dab of the white yellow, red, orange, just a, just a highlight to some of these berries. And then I'm going to use the color in my brush from that, mix it with a little bit more white. And I'm going to start adding some more lights to my tree. A little bit of yellow. Again, just little dots and dabs. You can create a star on the top of your tree, a glowing star. Just do a little cross like that and then pull and flick. And then add white inside and then Add a few more gentler little flicks. Now I like to place my pinky on the canvas for when I'm doing something like this that needs a little bit more stability so it really helps you steady your hand. Now I'm going to purposely pick up a little bit of the wet green tree color while I'm adding these little dabs and blobs just to make it look like it's glowing a little bit more. So see how I do that? I'm going to dab on that yellow and the base color of the tree is still a little bit wet. So it's going to start making our tree have more of a glow. And then you can go back and dab inside the glowy areas. And then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of that yellow and white again. 
And I'm going to start, we'll add a little dab there. I'm going to start to add a garland around my tree. So I'll dot, dot and dab. Make sure you load your brush up each time and get a little ball on the tip of your brush. And you just tap, tap. Now you can apply your garland however you want. I am going to just kind of like make it look like it's wrap, wrapping around the tree. Like a vine goes like that. I've got a few other tutorials for Christmas trees where I've got more of a scalloped garland. You can make your garland uh, any color that you want. And I'm going to make a light pink color here with my neon red and white. And a few more decorations. And then a few ornaments. So two little ovals and then dabs that come down, which will show up better with a little bit of white here to make them look shiny. So I'm going to catch the right side. You can paint them again, whatever color you want. So because we have a darker base, this is showing up and I don't need to add a shadow under there. And you can think about where you're applying them, uh, where it's going to show up the best, obviously, if you pick a dark spot. So that's why I'm picking this spot right here. And then I'm going to bring it down into a point. Thinking about all those um, old-fashioned decorations, you know, from the 60s and 70s. I love vintage uh, Christmas ornaments. So then I'll come around here. Pointy at the top, comes out. And then white. A little bit of white to this one on this side as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is come underneath here and bring the other front of the fireplace, the rest of it, over and then we can start adding a few little stockings. So I'll take white, I'm back over to my 16 filbert, white, black, burnt sienna. So we've got our mantle and then I'm going to come around the front. Okay. 
just lightly down the edge. And then add a shadow of black and burnt sienna underneath the mantle. And then on the inside of the walls here, I'm going to take my yellow, orange, and white and add light reflecting on it. And bring a little bit more inside the fire right there. I'm going to add some logs. So with burnt sienna and black. Just a few lines this way and that way. Rinse my brush out and Take burnt sienna, red, orange, a little bit of white, and tap and dab just to make those logs look like they're burning, of course. There's little bits of hot coals. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add some stockings. And I'm going to use my mini filbert brush for this. And I'm going to start with some white. And I'll just have A little line there where it's hanging and then a skinny fluffy rectangle for the top of the stocking and then I'll take some red And I'm going to pick up a little bit of this wet black paint, but I need it anyways. For a shadow. Okay, we'll pull down another rectangle. And then a little scoop. 
and I'm going to paint three of these. So I'll have another one here. I'm going to, because I've already got the red on my brush, a little bit of black in there to start. And I'll just reload my brush. A little chunky in here, I need to get out. There we go. And the last one. Okay, then I'll take a little bit of black. And just add a line here. I'll go underneath that one. Just create a few little folds and ripples sort of in the stocking. And then I'm going to take a little bit of black on my clean brush and make that hanger a little thinner. And then take my white and dab, dab, dab. partially over the black that I added. And then I'll just pull a little bit of this white off and use it for my hanger. I'm going to take a little bit of white, red, and orange to create my highlights on my stockings. I'm just going to dab along the side here. The lights from the tree will be reflecting on there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do with my little liner brush again is add some lights on the fireplace. So I'm just going to add like a garland hanging yellow and white. That'll come up. Have it in the garland on the mantle. Okay, 
And then I'll start from here. And bring some another layer here underneath. And then one more on the end. And I'll add another highlight on my stockings. Use a little bit of my neon orange with my yellow and white. A little dabs in here of orange. I'm going to add some highlights on the top here with my yellow, white, and green. And I'll just dab around. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is mix up a little bit of white with uh, the black and the brown, burnt sienna. And I'm going to have the bottom of it right here, so it'll be about an inch, and then there's just going to be a shadow underneath. And it's going to be slightly arched like this because the rocking horse goes scooped up like that. Okay, then I'm going to take a little bit more black and I'm going to go right over this again. And then from here, I'm going to come down I'm going to make it curl over a little bit right there so we'll make this a little bit thicker now add those three colors again white and sienna and black twist come down Twist over, come down, and then we're going to have a little square right here. And this is the base that holds the two sides these sides together. I'm add a little bit of white inside because they're little boards. We don't need to add a ton of detail, but um, we'll go through and add a few here. A 
Okay, and then we'll work on the next set. Some colors. I'm going to take a little bit of water to help thin that paint out a little bit better. And then it's going to be slightly off to the side of that one. The This part of it is going to be hidden because this one's covering that up. So we're just going to do less of a push and twist. So just thin, scoop down. And then we meet that one. Okay, and then I'm going to go over with some black here. So you're going to catch the bottom, bring it up. And then we're going to do a few little lines like that. And I'm going to rinse my brush out. Just pick up a little bit of that grayish black again and need it to be a little bit darker. Let's just apply a little bit of black in there. It's just for our shadow. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit so it's not as pronounced. Okay, now we can start coming in with our horse. And I'm going to use a little bit more white, less black, a little bit of white in with that burnt sienna. And we're going to add a rectangle. about two inches wide in length. I'm going to add some more white over top so we don't see the, all that other stuff through. Okay, mix up some more color and then we're going to come around the end, scoop down Scoop and then down for the leg and the hoof right there. And then we're going to add a little diagonal line right there. Come over here, round. So we're going to go underneath, up, and on a slant. We'll mix up some more color. We're going to add black for the hooves after. We just want to work on this part for now. We'll have just a hint of the other leg behind here. We can't really see it though. I'm going to take a little bit of this off. I'm 
And we'll start adding the head in just a minute. I'm gonna add a little bit more white here. We'll add a little bit of black, a little slant, and then a little scoop. A little line here that slightly scoops, and then we're going to round, bring it over. We're going to add a tail, use some black, and we'll add it right here. Just come right off the end, pull and sweep down. It's going to come out underneath those legs. And we're going to come up, up, round for the horse's head. And I'll start to pick up a little bit more white now. Take a little bit of black on a clean brush and we're going to come inside, add some shadows in here and the mouth, an eye right about there, just a little black dab, an ear, and we can add a mane, we'll add a saddle, I'll mix up a little bit of black and orange, I'm out of my burnt sienna and this makes pretty much the same color, so I'm just going to bring that mane down a little bit and then the saddle, it's going to sit up a little bit higher so we'll have a little gap in between and then bring that down, scoop And then it'll come underneath for the stirrups. And then we'll have the reins in here the stirrups maybe we'll add a bow as well
Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit more black and orange to make that brown color and go over the front of the rocking horse again. Get a little bit sturdier looking. A lot of it more to the saddle. And a highlight on the top of the horse. And on the top of the wood pieces here. A little bit more white. I'll just come in and add a little bit around here. And then the stirrups, a line on the bottom, and then round it over. And just a little bit of light right in here first before I do that. Just with the neon rose, a little bit of blue and white. And just help the shadow stand out a little bit better as well. And then just add a little bit of that color here and there. So let's give this horse a nice red bow. Okay, I'm gonna use my liner brush again, my number two liner brush for the bow. And I'm just going to start the bow with blue for the base, and then I'll add the red and then red and white for highlights. So I'm going to add the bow around the horse's neck. So I'll do a scoop around like this. And have the ribbon tassels come down here. And then a big, big bow. Circle here, triangle here. take off the blue tassel there because I want to have it over here instead. And 
there's a little bit of this blue to accent darker areas around okay there we go And then just a little bit of blue right here as well. Okay, so I just dried it off a little bit and I'm going to come in with my red now. And just apply it over that blue. The blue base is really dark and it's going to show up. So we'll get a darker red than when we apply the white. We'll get a nice bright red highlight. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of white now with the red. Apply a dab in the knot in the center. Fill it in on the inside. And the next thing we'll do is paint our chair over here and I'll have a teddy bear in it. Okay, so I'm just going to use a bit of blue and green and black for the base and my small filbert brush and I'm going to add it right here I'm going to make it look ornate so I'm going to go up down up down up again then bring it down on either side I'm going to come in with white and I'm going to go just under and partially over that blue green mixture. white and just paint it all in okay then I'm gonna come in with more white and I'm going to add a rectangle. That's wider than the rest of the chair.
make it round on either side. Add a little bit more white for the top of it. And then tape more white. We're going to add a line across the front. We're going to add a little hint of a leg in the back. And then the one in the front. Another one there. and have it dip down. And then what we're gonna do is come in with white trim here and just follow all those little scoops and dips another highlight there on the top and around the side and then we need to add the arms And go up here, scoop, scoop, and then work out the majority of the paint out of your brush. And then we're gonna come in the inside and give it sort of a velvety dry brush. I'm going to push this back in. So I'm just taking off some of the paint by pushing it. it needs to be more of a scoop that comes in like this. And add a line underneath for the shadow. Okay, so now I'm going to paint a uh, teddy bear inside of this chair. Okay, so I'm going to be using 
a little bit of burnt sienna again. I'm going to mix it with a yellow to make a, more like a caramel or yellow ochre. So I'm going to apply it first with burnt sienna and some white. And I'm going to start with the head right here. So I'll just make more of like an oval shape. And then we'll have a couple of half circles, little ears. Pick up a little bit more, cut across. Add the arms. Then I'm going to come in and start mixing up a little bit of the yellow in with that and white. And we can add some lighter tones now. So use the darker base to outline under the ears there. Okay, and then we're going to come up here for the shoulder. The belly. We're going to get as close as we can to the neck line and the arms. And then we're going to come back in with the burnt sienna again. And another line there. And a couple of legs. Some white and yellow mixed up in there for a lighter tone now. Come around the side of the belly. On the end for the feet. And I'm going to add an oval right there. A few more highlights. I'm going to switch over to a liner brush and I'm going to use some black and some burnt sienna now. I'll outline this side of the face, the ears a little bit. The feet, pretty much all the limbs.
one, two, three little dabs. Four, I'll just make that show up a little bit better. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then the heel. We're gonna have a shadow there in just a minute, but I'm gonna add the eyes and then the nose. So just two little black dots for the eyes. Then we'll add a little roundish triangle for the nose. And we'll just work out some of that paint out of our brush so it's not so thick. We'll add a little line and a little smile right there. I'm gonna take just a bit of white. And maybe we'll give him a blue bow so I'll take a little bit of blue and white with my liner brush. Make sure I don't have anything on my pinky here. I'm going to place it here to steady my hand. And we'll just wrap a little ribbon around. Just a little bit more blue here. And a little bit of white. I'm going to use my mini filbert brush here again. And I'll just use what we already have here. So I'll take a little bit of green and blue and maybe add a little present. It can be sitting right here. Just a little square. A little shadow. And then I'll take a bit of white, mix that up. Go across the top, the side. And we can add a ribbon, so a little bit more white now. Just want to make the wrapping paper look more shiny. So a little line there and just a few little chats. It kind of reminds me of like when I paint um, water lilies. It's kind of the same idea. And then just a highlight.
I'm gonna bring bring this down a little lower. Okay, and then I have a few more presents. And maybe I'll add a bigger one right here. I like all these colors together. That violet underneath. Add a little bit of blue to my white. Go across the top and the side again. I'll leave a little bit of that violety purple color there because I think that looks pretty. Maybe we'll add a few little presents up in the stockings. Just some smaller things. We could add a candy cane. Maybe we'll have candy cane here and here. there. And I think I'll have a few more presents. make this one more of a gold color. And we can have a 
I'll line it in the blue and the green. Make it striped. Okay, for our candy canes, we'll take a little bit of green. And we'll add a little swirl. So you want to leave a little bit of room for the red and I'm going to take a little bit of white and mix it with my red and then add a little line in between the green and the white Take a little bit more of my red here. I think I'll add a few more candles up here. Take my white and a little bit of yellow. a little bit of a haze around them. Then add a little white inside and I think I'll just take my red again. So they could be different sizes too. They don't all have to be the same size. I'm just gonna mix up a little bit of green with my red so I can make a base and a shadow. Now what we could even do is um, make them look like they're in a lamp, like have a little shade on them. Just do a line and then go around, around, and then a little narrower at the top.
And I'm going to add a highlight. And just with my yellow and white. And then I'm going to add some green, a little bit of greenery to decorate them. So I'm going to wrap it around. Just tap, tap, tap on an angle. And then I'm going to make the light inside a little bit more orange, yellow, make it just stand out a little bit better. So a little bit of red and yellow. And then a dab of white in the middle. We'll add a wreath here and then we'll call this painting all done. So we're going to do a mixture of green and black. And I'm just going to make a wiggly circle and then tap on some green Then I'm going to add a little bit of white and yellow. I'm going to tap that on as little highlights as well as maybe some little lights, highlights and lights. <laughs> And I'm going to add some red. Three little berries here and there. One, two, three. And add a little bow. Two little triangles, a little dab in the middle, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And this painting is all done. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me for this one today. Hope you liked it and want to paint along. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and leave a comment or question below if you have one. And I'll see you all soon in my next video. Merry Christmas, everyone.